Welcome to a student guide to getting started with Mathematica. In this series of videos, you'll learn how to do basic commands with Mathematica, create documents, and perform calculations. Let's get started. When you open Mathematica, you'll see this welcome window. To create a new document, under where it says Create New, click the button that says Notebook. Think of Mathematica as a hybrid between a word processor like Microsoft Word and a very powerful graphing calculator. We start with a blank document, and if we start typing, the default is that we're in input mode. So Mathematica is expecting us to type in a command that should be evaluated. The first thing that I'm going to do is increase the zoom of this document so that you can more easily see what I'm typing. So I'll increase the zoom down here in the, op the lower right hand corner from 100% to 200%. So when I type in something like 2 plus 2, I want to tell Mathematica to evaluate this command. And there are two ways that I can do this using my keyboard. If you notice the enter key on the right hand side of your number pad, if I press that key, then Mathematica will evaluate the command that I've typed in. If you don't want to use this key, or if your keyboard doesn't have a number pad, you can hold down the shift key and then press the enter key. Don't try to press those two keys at the same time. Hold down shift and then press enter. If we do that here with our 2 plus 2 command, Mathematica gives us the result of 4. Notice that it labels the 2 plus 2 as in 1, the first input, and it labels the 4 as out 1, the first output. Mathematica has built-in commands just like your calculator. So for example, we can tell Mathematica to evaluate the cosine of pi. The thing we have to remember with Mathematica is that commands that are built in start with capital letters, so the command for cosine is capital COS. And the second thing we have to remember is that when we evaluate using built-in commands in Mathematica, plugging into those commands uses square brackets. So we type pi with a capital P, because built-in commands start with capital letters, and then square brackets. When we hit our enter on our number pad, Mathematica evaluates that and gives us the answer of negative 1. There are other built-in commands. For example, the square root command is capital SQRT, so we could tell Mathematica to evaluate the square root of 100, and we get the answer of 10. So for example, if I want to know cosine of pi plus sine of pi divided by 2, notice that I used parentheses to group the cosine of pi plus sine of pi together to be the numerator of that fraction. So square brackets are only for plugging things into built-in commands. If I actually want to do grouping and tell Mathematica to do certain operations before other operations, then good old parentheses are what I want to use. And if I evaluate that, I get the answer of negative 1 half. Notice that Mathematica gives me the answer in the form of a fraction, uh, and in general, Mathematica will give you exact answers whenever it can. Now this tendency for Mathematica to give us exact answers can actually give us unexpected results. So for example, if I wanted to evaluate the square root of 2, Mathematica will reply and say, yes, the square root of 2, that's what you typed in. Because Mathematica wants to give us an exact answer. And if we asked for the kind of answer our calculator would give us, 1.41 something something something, then that wouldn't really be the exact answer. That would only be a decimal approximation to the square root of 2. And sometimes that's what we want. Sometimes what we really want is a decimal approximation. And the command to do that in Mathematica is capital N. So if we want a decimal approximation to the square root of 2, then we type capital N, again remembering to use our square brackets because that's how we plug into commands in Mathematica. So N of the square root of 2, and when we evaluate that, we get the decimal approximation that we might have expected initially. Another way to use the N command is to, after you type in the thing that you want to numerically approximate, type a comma, and then tell Mathematica how many significant digits you'd like to use. So if we want the square root of 2, but we want more decimal places, we want 20 significant digits, then Mathematica will compute that for us as well. This should be enough information for you to get started doing basic commands with Mathematica. In future videos, we'll learn how to use freeform linguistic input or Wolfram Alpha to do more complicated commands. We'll learn how to define variables, functions, plot functions, solve equations, and find roots.